What's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is Dom and really quick before I get started I just wanted to show this awesome clip that I got playing with my buddy uh, Well that he got playing with my buddy Smitty last night um, I know it's spectating. It's not first-person because I was just watching this all unfold But he was uh, he was Pathfinder and he cleared out a 1v4 He you know, he was the last one alive. He got killed four of them last nice. one ending in a headshot It was fucking awesome. I just wanted to show that up there for you guys if you guys have any clips or whatnot Feel free to email those to me at uh, Dom of the Dow at gmail.com love to take a look and uh, possibly feature you guys on the channel, but anyway uh, let's go ahead and let's start uh, start the topic today. You know the 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 title of this video is addressed. You know, an open letter. Well, probably just a letter to Ghost Recon. I've been playing with. Well, I played with this new update yesterday, and of course, videos are going to be coming out here soon about all the little ins and outs of all of the new mechanics, um, the new class. You know, being Wildlands Tips. It's coming up on Saturday. Uh, the the Hollow Point perk. I'm going to be talking about that on Friday on Friday in a quick shots video you know about the new classes as well that they changed them how does that affect their play style proximity mines all, all, all that stuff but anyway the the reason I wanted to to make this video today was because I was playing with all this stuff and I do have a little bit to say about it I'm gonna reserve a lot of my thoughts though for the other videos a lot of this shit is balance changing I want to say um, because, you know, this game I feel was sitting on a very nicely, uh, um, if I can go like this, a very nice, uh, uh, level playing field across the, across the board pretty much. Not too many complaints about specific things being too powerful or whatnot, but now, uh, I feel like that balance has shifted, uh, with this new update, possibly more than it has with any other update. Um, you know, to begin I Echelon... Know. As far as you know the playtime that I've had with him. He is very very powerful if you can use him, right? You can wreck people. It's, it's like having a diversionist drone That that's also a scout so it pings enemy locations within a hundred meters of you that you can activate whenever you want I I hope you guys just see basically from that that it's very powerful um, Of course you know, when you are moving with him, his range yeah. on that ping ability on his sonar, uh, you know, you don't send out pings anymore, so it won't ping locations, and the range on it's very decreased, so you gotta really stop, uh, um, you know, run, stop, run, stop, run, stop to kind of, you know, uh, balance yeah. that out and play with him super effectively, but he also has the health bonus, he also has a stamina bonus. He's the only character in this game that I think can double as a frontline and a flank uh, rather very effectively. I do feel that it gets rid of the need for a diversionist drone. More about his playstyle later, he, he's a very, very powerful class. The new hollow point ammo perk, very irritating, frustrating. There was no need for it, I, I don't think. Um, the biggest thing that I'm finding with it is people who are behind cover on the enemy teams, if I shoot them, I'm a sniper, you know, if I shoot them in the torso, if they're an assault, they won't immediately die, but that bleed damage forces them to leave. They have no other options. They either need to get ready to die next to a teammate or try to make it to a restock, but a lot of times those two options just aren't available, so they are stuck um, with no options, and I've been on the receiving end of that as well, and it fucking sucks. It sucks. You have no options. I, I don't. I like it when a game increases the tactical availability. You know, increases the uh, uh, tactical the uh, potential of a game. This does not increase tactical like. potential. It basically took the marksman classes, made them better, and fucked over everybody else. Uh, is honestly how I feel about it. You know, I have yeah. heard people say, you know, they like it on the Ranger and the Enforcer because uh, it, uh, you know, it makes them more viable. Well, the Enforcer was already viable. He's got that extra suppression. Now, if he shoots you once, you're, you're not going to have Battle Rage. You're not going to have Adrenaline Rush. If he gets you down to where you're almost dead, you're probably going to die from that. Um, I think the bleeding is not not something that we wanted. It's not something that we needed, and I really do think it fucks over every class except for marksman you know i've tried to be in touch with you guys as much as possible based off of my last video the reception i got from that you guys aren't happy about this either um at all so you know i wanted to tell you guys a little bit of a story i don't really do stories or anything like that that's not really what i'm about but i did want to tell you this because i do think it's relevant and this is directed solely to 
the Ghost Recon devs, basically. Um, now, another Ubisoft game that I actually started my channel on was For Honor. Um, not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Got a lot of hate. I, uh, I used to love that game. I used to play the shit out of it. And what happened was, in the beginning, it wasn't balanced, but it was more balanced than it is today. It was kind of like this, you know, uh, level playing fields for everybody, kind of. Uh, they updated it, tilted the balance, they had to update again, it swung back the other way, you know, where it would be like a seesaw every single update. They added new mechanics without fixing old ones, um, and eventually now it became the cluttered mess that is that it is today. There's too much going on at once, and it is virtually unplayable because of how convoluted the game is. I don't want that to happen with Ghost Recon. With this new Echelon class, he's very powerful. Do I think he's overpowered? I'm going to have to tell you my opinion on that in the Wildlands Tips videos. Um, he's very, very powerful. The new perk adds another layer to the game that we really didn't need. And I really don't want this game to become For Honor, where they're going to start adding all of this shit in. I really hope they don't, but they, where they start adding all of these factors that you just can't keep your shit straight. You can't see everything that's going on. And even somebody like me, who's done all these videos, who's done all of these fucking experiments with the game... Uh, figured out ranges, uh, damage outputs, recoil patterns, and all this shit. Even I can't keep this shit straight because there's too much going on. I'm not saying that's the, the the point where the game is right now, but I don't want it to become that by them adding all of these new mechanics that aren't needed. You know, we have plenty of ideas for simple operators that would have been great. You know, a class that can, uh, the, a guy mentioned this on my, one of my live streams, a class where uh, a guy can bind the hands of somebody who's down so that they cannot be revived by a medic drone. Another one that uh, a friend of mine came up with is that you can like send out a, a tripwire basically and it'll alert you when somebody crosses it. Not a, not give you intel, but it'll alert you when somebody crosses that. You know. Um, also, my idea is a guy who's a mobile health slash ammo depot where you go up and you can't restock fully, but you can get like 20% health, one frag, a little bit of ammo. Something like that, and every teammate can interact with him once. That's that's sort of my idea. Also, something that simulates footsteps to try to throw people off, kind of like a diversionist drone, but maybe like a, a, a grenade or something that would make it sound like somebody's there. I don't know. Um, we have plenty of ideas that are simple, and they implemented this one that's that's um, somewhat convoluted. It, it's got a lot of moving parts, very difficult to manage. You can already see that it's been one fucking day. And he's already convoluted. But anyway, please let me know what you guys think about the video uh, down in the comments section below. Of course, stay tuned to those upcoming videos where I'm going to be discussing all of this uh, further. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.